Okay, so um, for children who are going to P1 next year, I recommend our Maths Jungle Volume 1. Yeah, and um, personally, I'm a strong believer in helping children to build interest in math. Yeah. Hi, Sufan. Uh, afterwards, I'll show you uh, how you can get this online from your home. Okay. Okay, so um, back to this book. I'm a strong believer of helping children to develop interest right from a very young age. And the reason is because when your child, okay, imagine this, when your child is interested in doing um, things that he likes, he like, do you still need to um, move him or neck at him or push him to do it? No. A lot of times, children, when it comes to doing things that they like, they will do it automatically. Yeah. So from a very young age, you need to help your child to build interest in learning math. And in fact, um, I personally like to reframe problem sums. Okay. I don't like to, I don't like to call it problem sums. Yeah. Problem sums. For, for parents who come to my workshop, sometimes I will share that I will call it as a story sums. Yeah. Because all the math questions are like, are like st stories which involve some characters and some um, changes and you need to be like a detective uh, trying to solve solve uh, what they want you to find yeah yeah so so for young children thanks serene appreciate your help yeah thanks serene yeah okay so um for match younger you realize that it's, it's actually like a storybook because um, do you read stories to your child when uh, she is very young? Yeah, I mean, I mean, I do. And children love stories. Yeah. So you can see that all these books have characters, just like in a story sum. And children will normally be able to flip through this by themselves. Of course, you need to guide them. Nah. Yeah. And tell them about everything that's happening throughout this book okay yeah so if you are a parent who love to engage your kids sit by them uh, before bedtime and tell them stories this book is for you yeah um, if you don't like to um, um, sit down with your child and guide them sorry pa parents this is not for you because all our lb parents um, love to engage their children and learn together okay so yeah so Back to parents who love to tell your child stories. Um, this is good for you because first it's colored and and in fact almost every page comes with a short story. Yeah, and in fact there are some characters like um, the pannikin, um, bees, and then kiwi, so on and so forth, and. So you can you can you can you can see that um, the words are big and yeah um, Roslyn I are you there? Okay, mommy Roslyn actually asked me. So what pen do you use for this kind of book? Um, my girls use Sharpie pen, yeah, or permanent marker. Okay, and they really love it because um, it's it's really something different from other books that you see elsewhere. And in fact, Hong Luan, are you there? Yeah, um, a dad, Hong, Hong Luan, actually shared with me that her, her child, me, his child, um, likes this book so much that this is one of her favorite books. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so there are a lot of colors and every page, um, it goes by topic for in, in this case, at the same time, we also have some, some questions on problem sums. Okay, let me show you where is it, okay. Yeah. Okay, there are problem sums here and you can see that uh, we do provide model to guide your child to draw properly because it's so important to help your child to to um to guide your child to draw the model pro uh, properly. In fact, we have parents uh Evelyn, are you online? If um uh, mommy Evelyn Wang, 
Yeah, um, she also shared that her child, okay, her children actually love this book a lot. Yeah? Okay, great. Okay, so after P1 and 2, what is next? Uh, in fact, right now, math is getting much harder. And in fact, um, there's also a volume 2 for P1 to P3. That means it's actually a continuation from this book and all the way till here. Yeah? Because we want to help the children to transit um, and to see math as something that's very, very enjoyable. Yeah? Something that's very enjoyable. So again, um, the characters are the same, just that you can see that it's much thicker. And now um, it comes with an answer key for this one, for this book. And again, there are topics as well. Okay, you can see the content page here. Let me show you how it looks like. Okay, um, at the same time, you can see there are many problem sum types. Um, most books that I see in the market um, may not have this one. Yeah, but I feel that for our children, we really need to start to get them to learn problem sum types from a very young age. Yeah, because this is what is missing um, in most um, kids learning. Yeah, based on my experience. Okay, so again, you can see that there are many models and the reason why I provide model is because I really need you to help your child to, to follow a proven system of drawing the models correctly. Okay. And also you can see this kind of concept which is called uh, more or less than yeah. So in fact, um, this is actually tested since primary one all the way to P six. Yeah. Okay, you can see that there are other topicals as well, and it's all colored, full color, and you use sharpie pen to do it once you get hold of it. And again, this is really to help children to to um, start to like to learn math and and make it very colorful for them and it need not be a very boring subject for them yeah okay there are also other concepts like before and after um as well as guess and check okay okay before and after as well uh same total yeah when there's internal transfer or internal change And we also share with you the match take method that I think not many children know where you have to find a parameter. And lastly, you need to help your child to start to learn um, the four step assumption method for guess and check, which is available on page 147 of this Math Jungle Volume 2.